Hello, this is World University and Schools, WUAS News and Q&A on Monday, March 4th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And as we wait to see if people will join this open Q&A for MIT OpenCourseWare-centric Wiki World University and School, planned in 200 countries for free online MIT OpenCourseWare-centric WUAS universities degrees and Wiki schools for people to people open Wiki teaching and Wiki learning in 7,164 known living languages and in other languages as well. I'd like to share a little news with you. Uh, the first item is a set of tweets. Enter the planned flagship WUAS bookstore at WUAS Press on Twitter on Walnut Street, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And regarding WUAS educational services stores, for books, computers, robotics, and see this business plan, which link is in the business, which link is in this set of tweets, and it's also in today's blog posts for World University and School at scott-mcleod.blogspot.com. Presently, Tidy Tips Flower is the species of flower that I've started this blog post with today, further with the Twitter post, and enter especially World University in School for free MIT OpenCourseWare-centric WUS universities, WUS degrees from home. So enter the planned flagship WUS bookstore on Walnut Street and enter especially World University and School for free MIT OpenCourseWare-centric WUS degrees from home and potentially in a realistic virtual earth for history within the bookstore, within the whole first floor of the bookstore with brainstorming wise MIT Media Lab projector lamps and cameras all along the top corners, the four sides of the space and potentially designed by Siemens uh, for uh, all kinds of both architectural and energy usage uh, processes in their digital building twin new endeavor, which has a new name, uh, something like Twin X Life Cycle or similar. So these are exciting developments. It seems like um, the WUAS bookstore with its new WUAS business plan may be starting a um, financial arrangement with JP Morgan Chase Bank, which also has an office on Walnut Street or South Aiken on in Shadyside. Uh, and Regarding also uh, what we'd like to make available besides these free MIT Open Course for Sanctuary WUAS degrees, there's a picture in a tweet uh, here of the potential book, computer, and robotics kit that the WUAS bookstore would like to make available as examples of these three categories. Potentially the book would be Naked Harbin Ethnography. Uh, my first book uh, published in 2016 by the academic press at World University and School and planning a realistic virtual Harbin. So perhaps if you enter this bookstore, you'll be able to enter a realistic virtual Harbin hot springs in a multimedia room. And secondly, computers, uh, we'd like to make available the Chrome, MacBook, 
plus, sorry, the Google Chrome Plus operating system and potentially on uh, Google Plus, Google Chrome Plus hardware. So the Google has made a laptop for this operating system, potentially on Samsung laptops as well, since it's an operating system. And Samsung, uh, Google, Chrome Plus uh, laptops are available in Bangladesh for 189 US dollars. And could World University and Schools, WS Bookstore make laptops available uh, that would be G Chromebook Plus for very low cost so that we could matriculate hundreds and thousands of possible students at MIT OpenCourseWare Centric World University and School from in the Pittsburgh area, the greater Pittsburgh area, the greater Western Pennsylvania area, Penn's Woods on the Western side, and so that they would be studying from their homes. And the last picture in this four picture Twitter post in Scott McLeod, my own personal Twitter, Twitter feed, is a picture of a Lego robotics kit, Lego Spike Prime robot that I built, all with the Williams Sonoma um, old storefront on Walnut Street in Shadyside uh, behind these uh, many of these objects, the um, book, Naked Harbin Ethnography and the robot build from Lego Robotics Kit, Lego Spike Prime, uh, where in which we would like to create this possible WS Bookstore Realistic Virtual Earth inside in a multimedia room, uh, possibly with Siemens designing it holograms and possibly also Toyota humanoid robotics, uh, Toyota humanoid robots, possibly even a THR3 Toyota humanoid robot. So that's agenda item zero. Uh, agenda item one, circling around to um, a set of tweets I shared about a week ago and uh, brainstorming the set of tweets reads how to code for one realistic virtual earth with realistic virtual earth for cultural evolution with a Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy uh, article on cultural evolution, an idea which within sociocultural anthropology circles uh, is problematic for a variety of ways, but very interesting uh, from philosophical perspectives. And with a realistic virtual earth for genetics as a machine in G Street View with Time Slider, G Cell View, G Molecule View, G Atom View, Atom View uh, with film to 3D apps conceptually and for aging reversal and extreme longevity genetics. So brainstorming how to code for one realistic virtual earth with a realistic virtual earth for cultural evolution with a realistic virtual earth for genetics, evolutionary biology, biology as a machine in Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Cell View with film to 3D apps for aging reversal and longevity genetics. Uh, interesting possibilities. The next agenda item, agenda item two, has to do with a Samsung Mobile US uh, set of tweets that I replied to um, yesterday, I think Sunday, and where in a new development for me and World University on School Twitter, Samsung Mobile US tweets uh, automatically with machine learning, I think, or artificial intelligence replied back to uh, World University and School and Scott McLeod's Twitters. 
So the set of tweets with great, with two great pictures, two different great pictures of uh, aerial aerial views of the earth um, in a hashtag epic zoom. So the set of tweets reads, a realistic virtual Harbin in one realistic virtual earth too. And thank you at Samsung Mobile US for witness our planet's beauty from up in sky with hashtag epic zoom of hashtag Galaxy S24, I think it's their new smartphone. And with hashtag G Street View, with hashtag Time Slider, with hashtag G Cell View, how best hashtag with Galaxy to collaborate at World University and School for hashtag WUAS research. Uh, much potential with Samsung Mobile US uh, beginning to engage a realistic virtual earth on their new smartphone in very beautiful ways. And then uh, onto my smartphone came a YouTube uh, quick video from Samsung, which also was great in its own way of a golfer. And uh, so someone playing golf and an interesting uh, expression of what um, Samsung's uh, does with possibly advertising, but in creative and innovative and smart ways. And the second set of tweets uh, reads uh, in a related vein with a different Samsung Mobile US picture to um, World University and School. The first one was to Scott McLeod. Thanks so much, Samsung Mobile US, for quote, witness our planet's beauty from up in the sky with hashtag epic zoom of hashtag Galaxy S24. World University at World University and School seeks to build out a hashtag realistic virtual universe. So for space travel and all the atoms in the universe potentially, as well as street view views, out, out spaceship windows possibly uh, in a trip to Mars in 2020, possibly in 2038, <laughs> eight months out and eight months back. Um, how to, seeks to build out a realistic virtual universe and think Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Atom View, how best with Galaxy to collaborate with the World University and School Press too for publishing from Google Street View with Time Slider and potentially with Google Street View engagement with a realistic virtual earth on their Samsung Galaxy. S24. Um, and then I found uh, all relating to this, these two Samsung retweets uh, that Samsung replied, replied back to World University and School and Scott McLeod with an amazing uh, live translation Samsung video on YouTube um, where with this new Galaxy S24 ultra phone, live translation is possible from English to Spanish in voice. This is a very new development in my experience. And with or in world university and school seeking to code for all 7,164 known living languages at the world university and schools wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash languages with a capital L. And you can see more about this in the blog post in March, maybe March 2nd, the Western blue-eyed grass uh, species it begins with. Agenda item three, let me just check if people are seeking to join us. Not seeing anyone right now. Uh, has to do with brainwave headsets and possibly EEG headsets. Is it electroencephalogram uh, headsets? And how to map the whole brain, modeling it, and potentially with connectomics, a very new branch of brain science and computer science, which has successfully mapped a whole Drosophila brain and perhaps uh, much of a mouse's brain in 
a new way of academically studying and researching the brain. So the set of tweets uh, I created also relates to my ongoing realistic virtual Harbin Hot Springs project and brainwave headsets and EEG headsets that emerge as early as the 1960s and 50s, possibly before, as biofeedback headsets, possibly as a way to focus meditation, uh, and which I'm seeking to study in people soaking in the Harbin Hot Springs wonder, warm pool, uh, such that uh, the warm water may create the relaxation response biological effect in the body that can be elicited also through meditation practices. And how to study this with biofeedback headsets in the process of World University and School seeking to model the whole brain with EEG headsets that are iterating. And as World University and School uh, potentially creates these devices in an iterating way, the brainwave headsets to model the whole brain and uh, through headbands and complete um, covering of the head with EEG headsets and their successors uh, streamed via the internet into um, a uh, avatar agent electronic health record for an individual who might be wearing such a brainwave headset in the Harbin Hot Springs warm pool, uh, um, such that we might be able to model individuals' brains uniquely uh, in this process of building an academic research program from the Harbin Hot Springs warm pool with headbands that carry iterating sensors for modeling the brain into connectomics. So the set of tweets reads, best brainwave headsets, hashtag EEG headsets, how to iterate sensor-wise, et cetera, to map the whole brain via broadband into avatar agent electronic health records in conceptually G Google Street View with Time Slider, with Google Cell View, with Google Molecule View, and from also a realistic virtual Harbin Hot Springs warm pool at Harbin Books, so from one's own home bathtub, soaking possibly, and where avatar agent electronic health records refer not only to electronic health records, but the avatar pot part refers to um, integrating all the amazing medical imaging uh, pictures, video, uh, research, study, um, evidence in an integrated way into our electronic health records potentially with little Pegman becoming a digital twin of ourselves from Google Street View with Time Slider. And the agent part of avatar agent electronic health records, thanks Bill Gates, uh, refers to potentially the machine learning and the artificial intelligence that might be iterating and growing with our electronic health records and newly with avatar agent electronic health records and for each of us as an individual. Uh, exciting possibilities for new approaches to research and possibly modeling the whole brain, each of our whole brains individually and iteratively, massive data processes with the trillions of cells I think in our, or atoms in our brain, molecules in our brain, uh, and interesting to build out of the biofeedback brainwave headsets um, beginning in the 1970s, 1960s uh, in academic settings and uh, potentially um, with new biofeedback headsets from today, 2024.
best neurofeedback devices in 2024 for at-home use is one URL website page in my blog post today about today's WS News and question and answer on March 4th, 2024, beginning tidy tips, Leia Platyglossa. Um, and there's some other examples of contemporary biofeedback headsets that could all be iterated upon um, in seeking to model non-intrusively, non-harming wise, uh, whole brains through brainwave headsets, through biofeedback headsets, through uh, EEG, what started as EEG headsets. Uh, and for not only um, doing research into the brain and uh, from the Harbin Hot Springs warm pool, but a myriad of other kinds of connectomic brain science research inquiries, investigations, projects. There are a couple of NIH, National Institute for Health, articles here in this blog post. One is called Modern Methods for Interrogating the Human Connectome. And also another is called Mapping the Human Connectome, another NIH article. And there's also a Harvard uh, article from the Harvard Medical School, a new field of neuroscience aims to map connections in the brain. Scientists working in connectomics are creating comprehensive maps of how neurons connect to one another. So agenda item four, uh, set of tweets, reading, starting with a YouTube video title, Affordable gene therapies are coming. George Church at EARD, a conference he presented at, I think, in 2022, with the video link. But extreme longevity with genetic uh, drug therapies is hard to plan for. Harvard University and the state of Massachusetts could help since Harvard's so old, some 350 years approximately, and the state of Massachusetts uh, is also very both old and organized with state processes that have a relationship to Harvard and Harvard Medical School. Um, so affordable gene therapies are coming George Church at EARD, but extreme longevity is hard to plan for. Hundreds, thousands of years for humans. Harvard and the state of Massachusetts could help. So could hashtag MIT OCW centric wiki at World University and School in the state of California as Harvard in 200 countries and in their main languages and in growing WUAS abolition movement worldwide. So world, world University and School would seek to plan, help plan for extreme longevity and aging reversal with our avatar agent electronic health records plan for all 7.9 billion people. In the process, we're, World University and School is growing an abolition movement worldwide to abolish the wrongful buying and selling of people in the illegal sex, drugs, violence, exotic animals, weapons, nuclear, et cetera, industries internationally and their latent networks of violence. And so potentially, and so that we can all live maybe a very, very long time, far beyond 122 years of age, the upper limit presently for humans. Uh, last item, item five, um, it's actually an agenda item that I added to last Monday's WUS News and Question and Answer, which I think was on February 26th, 2024, a week ago, and regarding a Stanford University Indonesian after the election there, 
panel of talks, panel uh, was a talk in a video call. And the set of tweets in these regards reads, thanks Don Emerson, Bill Little, Sarah Jaffrey, Gita Weavdaran for Indonesia's landmark election. What's next, question mark? Um, questions I asked in text chat in this twi Twitter post are one, Stanford MindPi cryptocurrency, mindpi.com forward slash SGKMAC. And two, MIT Open Course for Eccentric, Indonesia World University and School with the Indonesian World University and School URL in this Twitter post, worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash Indonesia with a capital I, not yet in Bahasa Indonesian language, but planning to be. So with three WUS degrees for all Indonesians and with a technocratization process in Indonesia, I think it's a country of about 2.6 million people, 2.267 million people, nearly 270 million people, I think, where the US has 340 million people, and where Gita Wijaran, who uh, is an expert in the economics uh, I gleaned or gathered from this panel talk, uh, and I think is Indonesian, talked often of technocratization. So bringing information technology developments to India, and he also mentioned that Indian Indonesians would be interested in Bitcoin, which may be a generic name for cryptocurrencies and where World University and School uh, is seeking to facilitate Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency potentially to people in all 200 countries, speakers of all 7,000 languages, and many of 7.9 billion people on the planet and even to end poverty, uh, possibly with universal basic income experiments and similar, possibly for the poorest 1 billion people on the planet out of about 8 billion people on the planet. And learned also in this panel that uh, Prabowo, the newly elected prime minister or president, has an international orientation and that uh, learned from also Gita Wijaran uh, that they might seek companies investing and setting up foreign businesses in Indonesia on Indonesian soil or in Indonesian cyberspace regarding technocratization. And this is something uh, Indonesia World University and School in the Indonesian language and the WUS educational services stores, the WS bookstores, uh, computer stores, robotics stores, hospital technologies, distribution centers, grocery stores, department stores would be interested in doing in Indonesia as well, potentially with time. So that's the news and question and answer for today, March 4th, 2024. I'll post this both to the main Twitters for World University and School, twitter.com forward slash W O R L D U N I V A N D S C H and twitter.com forward slash W U A S P R E S S, as well as to the current active YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University forward slash videos. Uh, next week, the next WS News and Question and Answer will happen on Monday, March 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern time, I think it's 7 a.m. Pacific time, I think it's 7.30 p.m. India time, I think it's 3 p.m. in Western Europe, and it may be around uh, 12 midnight in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, people are welcome to join this video call with your question and answers. Uh, until next time, uh, check out the Twitter feeds and YouTube and have a great week with an invitation to wiki teach and learn now at World University and School.
wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org, uh, where you can become a wiki teacher, wiki learner in any subject you're interested in. See if there's MIT Open Courseware courses on it already, or start a wiki subject school of your own in a creative hacking way uh, in English or in your language, any one of 7,000 languages potentially. Uh, until next time, bye for now.